what if I introduce you to someone and now you're not going to watch me because they're entertaining? At the same time, I wonder if I'm overthinking it. Raids are a weird thing. I was listening to a talk about raids and hosts the other day um, from Devin Nash, the, uh, uh, who talks about sort of business industry and behind the scenes, and how he talked about how raids can actually be a net negative for you as a content creator. I've got some of my own thoughts that I'm still working through on that. Uh, the brief rundown of it was, think of it not on Twitch, but think of it in restaurants. If your favorite res if your favorite Indian restaurant was shut down for the day, would they say go to secondary Indian restaurant? Unlikely. They would probably be just throwing something up and saying like, hey guys, we've got to close. We'll be back open tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. Do everything they can to try to keep you. Whereas with Twitch, the idea of a raid is almost like, hey guys, I'm finished. Let me introduce you to another entertaining content creator who you might want to spend your time with. And a problem that can happen with that is what if I in, what if I were to introduce you guys, um, if I were to raid over to someone right now and introduce you to an interesting and compelling content creator who also streams on Sundays starting at 9 a.m. and streams until 3.30. Well, now I've introduced you to someone who is interesting and who you like and who you might want to spend time with, who also streams in the tame, same time slot as me, who now you have to make a choice between watching them or watching me. What if I introduce you to someone and now you're not going to watch me because they're entertaining? That was kind of the, that was the gist of what they were saying. Uh, and he had some stats to back it up. It was something like, if you raid over to someone, um, it has something like a detrimental effect on your audience. Um, gosh, I'm going to mess up the numbers. It was something like one in 10 people that you raid over over the next six months are significantly less likely to return to your stream as a result of that raid. So here's the thing that I'm working through with raids. The issue with raids that I have is raids are different for the viewer than they are for the streamer. The issue I have as a streamer, when I was thinking about who to raid at the end of my streams, I was thinking, how do I benefit myself? Uh, raids were entire, were almost entirely a selfish thing. I thought if I raid this person, they're more likely to raid me back. If I raid this person, I'm going to create a friend. If I raid this person, I might gain some beneficial status within their community. You know, they shout me out for raiding them. I'm doing something that is strategic, that is specifically intended to help potentially grow my stream. I want someone to feel impressed by me and maybe raid me back. Someone who's going to pop by my stream at some point and say thanks. Someone who's going to give me a shout out on Twitter. Something that I could do, that I could create a dialogue, that I could create things where. Raids in my head were this strategic sort of thing, which meant when I was thinking who to raid at the end of the stream, I wasn't even, I wasn't thinking about you guys. I spend, what has it been? Uh, I've spent four hours and 23 minutes thinking about how to entertain you guys. And then at the very end, I thought about myself and how to benefit myself, which meant that when I was rating you guys, I wasn't really thinking about would you guys enjoy this content or it was sort of my secondary objective. I was thinking, how do I gain from this? So I took everything that I'd done with you guys, everything that I had benefited, uh, everything that any of that connection that I had made, anything that I had with you guys in the last two to four hours, and just said, here's a block of numbers. How do I take this block of numbers and use it to benefit myself? And is this weird sort of thing? Now, there's probably, this literally might be unique to me. It might be this weird thinking that I have. Um, but I want to guess that a number of people have probably done it, that raids are thought about how they can benefit people. And when you're bigger, if you have 500 people, what is the benefit? I, there was a straight up, straight up, um, there was a point back when I was a Magic the Gathering streamer 
where a friend that I've made um, was in control of a streamer's where they raided at the end of streams. So got that streamer to raid me a few times. And I started to notice that I was seeing some of those names back. And it was, in, for me, it was amazing and incredibly impressive. Like, hey, I got this, I got a 450 person raid and like 10 of those people came back within the course of a week. I got 10 new average viewers. Again, did that big streamer who raided me, did they lose those 10 people? Possibly. Also, then I started thinking about all the things that I could do to get that streamer to raid me again because I literally wanted to pilfer their followers. And when I kind of started to realize that, I realized like, dear Lord, I felt evil. Like I'm literally trying to steal someone else's success. That was bad. Um, that was bad. So that's all going on. So that's all been going on in my head. And I'm kind of trying to like make some sense of the, some of this and try to like, is it, how much is anecdotal? How much is real? How much is stats backed? How much can we, whatever from this? I've definitely been cutting down on the raids as a result. Um, also like trying to think more about you guys when I raid. More in terms of like, you know, it's actually why I've been raided like Curb Stomped and Mikey more. Um, which is literally just like, you know what? No, like I know these guys. I know they are entertaining. I know you will enjoy them. If I take you guys over to Curb Stomp stream, Curb Stomped is entertaining and he is going to entertain you guys. So rather than just being like, yeah, I'm a raid someone because they've got viewers. So anyways, that's the sort of thinking on raids. Um, there's some stuff to go with that, but yeah. I've been trying to take sort of what I do here and translate that over to YouTube, cutting it down into smaller sort of things. The idea with that is that I want people to, A, I want my content to live somewhere. I want to be able to go and see it. Trying to sort of think about the storytelling that I'm doing, making sure that like who I am is represented in different places. Like if you see me on YouTube and you come over here, you'll get essentially the same sort of thing. If you get used to me on Twitter, if you come over here or check my YouTube, you'll sort of get used to the same thing. And yeah, it's kind of where everything's at.